You know, I can't be the only one who's been noticing this trend lately, right? I mean, not lately, really. You've been seeing this for a few years now. Is that today's women are doing so much just to get some chump change thrown at them, right? I mean, a big part of it is that online attention that they're getting. Sure, yeah. But you, all, you also notice that a lot of these women are doing these kind of entertainment work because of the money as well not just the social media likes now I'm not talking about your wannabe Instagram models your wannabe entertainment workers your wannabe adult workers I'm talking about the professional ones here why because I'm starting to notice that more and more girls are starting to gear towards that line of work than you said then you know your regular college degree I mean, they might be going to college to get some college degrees, right? And they all know it's frivolous. But on the side, their, main fo their real main focus is really that entertainment line of work. The work that gives them that glamorous lifestyle that they see online, on the media. And that gives them money as well for doing that. The college degree is kind of just like for her family. Do you really think, fellas, here's a quick side note and a side question to you guys. Do you really think that these women actually give a shit about college? No, they don't. They go there because they know it's going to give them money. That's what they've been brainwashed into thinking their whole life up till this point. You're supposed to be strong and independent and be empowered. And the only way to do so is getting the bag. And one of the easiest and quickest way to get the bag is going through college because that's what they see everybody else do. Along with that, they also see everybody else, meaning all the other girls, our peers, also do this entertainment kind of work. What am I really talking about here? I'm talking about girls who do adult films, girls who do OnlyFans, girls who do escort services, girls who get flown out to Dubai or other countries or wherever to hang out with rich guys and their yacht parties and their boats, right? Those are the type of girls I'm talking about. Now, personally, I'm actually aspiring to be one of those guys myself. Obviously, it's going to take years of work and I might not even get there, but hey, if I'm aiming for a billion dollars, if I'm aiming to become, if I'm aiming to become a billionaire, maybe I might fall into the millionaire category, right? Still better than where I'm at now, right? But every day above dirt, meaning every day that you're alive is a good day. Sure, I get it. But we always want to strive in for more. Always want to keep improving ourselves. That's just in our, in our human nature. So you could be coming here and saying that Zeke, you are a hypocrite because you want to be that guy, but you're also shaming girls who are working for those guys. No, that's not how it works. See, you just contradicted yourself when you said that to me. Because I'm the guy who has the power, who has the money, who has the resources. I worked my ass off to get there. While she is nothing but an object to me. Me, me, me being those guys at that top 1%. The, an object who could be replaced just like that with a snap of a finger that was a horrible snap there we go but as she's getting used in her prime years she doesn't see that she doesn't see that she's gonna be gonna be replaced just like that she doesn't see that she's just like another pretty face that comes a dime a dozen and then after she's done after she has given all of her the next crop of cute faces are gonna come up she doesn't see any of this until obviously it's too late right and I've noticed this fellas this adult film type of work this type of this type of stuff have starting to get more and more women coming into their industries right it's kind of sad at the same time and also it's kind of satisfying for guys like me who just want to pump and dump and have rosters of women because now we know that it's that much easier for us I told you guys this plenty of times. Women, women over the age of 25 is easy pick as if you just have somewhat of your stuff together. And women under the age of 25, 25 from the age of 18 to 25, are also easy pick as if you're just at the top 5% of men or even 10% of men. That's if you want to deal with women at that level. If you want to deal with those type of women. A lot of you guys just want to go completely monk. I 100% support that or respect that. I understand where you're coming from. Some of you guys want to date here and there, some of you guys want to make, get married, which is a complete idiotic mistake in my opinion, especially when the laws are against us like this, but that's another conversation. 
But overall, fellas, you have noticed that these women nowadays have sold themselves. If you haven't noticed, these women are doing the most out about and online on these social media platforms just to get some attention, just to get some money, just to get looked at so that she has the next big opportunity than her peers. Just go on Snapchat and there's a Snapchat group called Viral Videos or Viral Animals, something like that, right? And then there's another Snapchat group named um, Barstool Sports. You'll see females doing the dumbest stuff on there. The most retarded stuff I've ever seen. Why? It's because first of all, they're children with breasts. And second of all, they're thirsting for the attention of that paper. They think getting that paper, getting that bag gives them value. And it's got, it goes for guys too, you know. Money doesn't give you value. Money is the byproduct of your value. Let me repeat that. Money does not give you value. Money is the byproduct of your value. To get money, you need to have certain values. So that means when you have the money, that means you have those values and those intrinsic characteristics. That's what money really signifies. It doesn't add value to you. It makes your life easier because you have resources now, but the values are developed in the process of getting the money the right way, which, which is what most of the women don't do nowadays. They want, that e they want that fast money. That's why they don't go about doing it the right way. And that's why they never build and develop those intrinsic characteristics. Instead, they, bring, they develop hoe-like, thought-like, slut-like characteristics. Why? Because that's what they're doing to get the money. You think she, she's at the CEO of some company because it's because of her values, is because what she brings to the table? No. She's been sucking dick since her first day at, at the work, at the job. That's how she climbed the corporate ladder. If you're sitting here and thinking that some woman is, is, is the head of some multi-trillion dollar, dollar or billion dollar company, CEO of the company, you're out of your goddamn mind if you don't think she sucks some dick to get up there. They know that, we know that. You're not fooling me. And what have you done in the process, lady? You've lost yourself, you've lost your identity. Because now you're taking more and more antidepressants to run away from those empty feelings that you feel every night when you come home and there's nobody there who actually give a shit about you besides just pumping and dumping you. The truth hurts, doesn't it? Let it sink in. Let all of this sink in. Pause the video if you have to. Let it sink in, ladies. Suck it in. I know you're good at sucking. Suck it, suck it some more. Something on my camera. That's why you see breast cancer numbers are going up because the number one gender that, that breast cancer affects are women. And it comes, and cancer mainly comes from and spreads quickly from stress along with obviously your lifestyle choices, how you live, what kind of foods you eat, if you smoke, etc., etc. But stress is a very, 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 very big reason why cancer is a thing nowadays. And these women are being stressed out more and more because they're selling themselves to the money. Same thing with Hollywood actors and actresses. Same thing with singers, artists who are not true to themselves and their fans. You'll notice that after somebody gets a big breakthrough, they change, they sell themselves. Money buys you. There's a reason I always say that I don't get paid from YouTube. I turn my monetization button off on YouTube. I don't want anybody to pay me and then try to have me, try to, try to, try to make me become their slaves. No, I'm not selling myself to any fucking body. Even if I'm homeless. I have the mindset and I have the brains to change in my situation. So if, you, if, I, if I became homeless, to, homeless tomorrow, within a year or two, I'll bounce right back up, promise you. And that wouldn't have been developed within me if I sold myself for money. Because you don't know what life can throw, you, throw at you. And you see this all the time. You see these popular porn stars. After their prime, they end up being broke as a joke. Mia Khalifa started preaching that, oh, she only made 12 grand in her entire career and now she wants to sue those companies because they're not taking down her videos. Are you kidding me? 
even if you did take down your videos, do you know how popular you, you are, girl? Do you know how many guys looked at you and fapped? I never did because I'm not interested in Middle Eastern women. That's just, that's just not my cup of tea. I told you guys, I'm more attracted to white women than anything else. Oh, he's racist. <laughs> Suck my left nut. That's what I think about that. You know, bring race into this of attraction. It's just like a girl, a white girl or any other girl saying, oh, I don't like certain race of men for the most part. We're going to a different conversation. But fellas, even if you look at a girl who's young, right? 18, 19, 20, hasn't even bought completely into the ideolo uh, feminist, feminist ideology yet. And she looks so innocent from, the far, from far away, right? She got this pretty face, small waist and a big bank, right? <laughs> that TikTok challenge that they're going about doing so. What do you think that's about, by the way? It's about them selling themselves again, selling their souls for money, for attention, for resources. One guy is not enough. Resources and attention and validation from one guy is not enough. They need all of it or as much as they can get. So that cute girl that you see who looks innocent from the outside is just a facade. You have no idea how dark and how gross these chicks' mind, mindset, mindsets are, mentalities are where their headspace is at, what they're thinking every day, what kind of things you think every day, the type of music, the type of videos, the type of entertainment you consume every day, make you who you are. And these women are consuming every single day nothing but toxic information, toxic music, toxic movies, toxic TV series. Toxic conversations with toxic friends. So that outside that they're showing you, don't fall for it, fellas. Don't fall for it. As I've always said, it's your life. You have to make the decision of how you want to live it. How you want it to become. How you want your life to become. What you want out of it. Out of this one life that you have. There's multiple ways you can go about doing so. I want to be that top 1-5% to man and then smash these hoes till I sleep, till I, till I die. I want to be so rich and so successful that all my resources attract these women and I'm going to sell them a dream that, oh yeah, baby, you can get them all. Just give me that piece of that ass and as soon as I get it, I'm going to start switching up on them. Why? Because that's exactly what they do to us. They sell us a dream, say that they want to be that wifey material to us, the girlfriend material to us, and as soon as they get our commitment, our resources, they switch up on us, cheat on us, start getting validation from other guys. As soon as they conquer us, they say, oh, I got this guy. Now on to the next one. All is fair on, in love and war, right? All is fair in love and war. Who said that? I don't know. I don't give a shit. Some of you guys might watch my video and say, it's not worth it. All that hassle dealing with all that women dealing with the stress and the headache of becoming that five or the top one to five percent man i get it i understand you brother i hear you you just want to live that monk life nothing but love from me brothers for those of you guys who want to live that lifestyle some of you guys might come here and say i just want one woman purple pill hey nothing but love from here some of you guys want to come here and say i want nothing but two or three women in a roster nothing but love from me as soon as you don't operate from a red pill, uh, sorry, as soon as you don't operate from a blue pill standpoint, as soon as you understand the truth, and as soon as you, as, as long as you understand the type of women that we really have nowadays in the Western society. And the only reason why I always focus on the Western society is because the Eastern side of the world, the poor countries of the world, are also starting to get infected more and more by this Western culture. And it's just a matter of time before we all all right, that's enough downing message, right? I don't wanna make you guys too sad and too upset. You know, what can you really do about it, you know? I give you guys all this information just to arm you guys, just to get you guys ready, just so that you don't get taken advantage of. But at the end of the day, hey man, it's still a beautiful life you have. You're being able to breathe 
Another day above dirt. You're not dead. You're alive. There's still a lot more beautiful things this life has to offer to you. A lot more. And go ahead and enjoy. Don't worry about women. Don't worry about what society thinks of you if you don't have a woman. If you don't have a certain amount of income. If you want that, do it for yourself. Find that reason why you want it. And actually make sure it makes you happy first before you do something. Follow me on Instagram at Zeke Peak. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and above all, stay classy.